Dear viewers, welcome back to Manis Microbiology. In this video, I would like to explain about the replication of viruses. A virus must undergo the process of replication to create new infectious virions that are able to infect other cells of the body or subsequent host. After gaining entry into the body, a virus makes physical contact with the host and crosses the plasma membrane of a target cell. The host cell acts as a factory providing the substrates, energy and machinery necessary for the synthesis of viral proteins and replication of the genome. Processes not provided by the cell must be encoded in the genome of virus. A single replication cycle can be separated into several phases. The first one is the early phase where the virus must recognize an appropriate target cell and attaches and then penetrate the plasma membrane later releases the genetic material. In the second phase, that is late phase, it begins with the start of genome replication and viral macromolecular synthesis and proceeds through viral assembly and release. The third phase, eclipse phase, uncoating of the genome from the capsid or envelope during the early phase abolishes its infectivity and identifiable structure, thus initiating the eclipse period. In the latent period, it ends with the release of new viruses. Each infected cell may produce as many as 1 lakh virion particles. However, only 1% to 10% of these particles may be infectious. The non-infectious particles, that is defective particles, results from mutations and errors in the manufacture and assembly of virion. The viral replication includes several steps, starting with the recognition and attachment of the virus to the target cell. It is achieved with the help of viral attachment proteins that are present on the surface of virion capsid to the receptors on the cells. The viral attachment proteins are specific glycoproteins of enveloped viruses. For example, the hemagglutinin of Influenza A virus binds to the sialic acids expressed on many different cells of the host and it has a broad host range and tissue tropism. Next is the penetration of the virus. Interaction between multiple viral attachment proteins and cellular receptors initiate the internalization of virus into the host cell. The mechanism of internalization depends on the virion structure and cell type. Non-enveloped viruses enter the cell by receptor mediated endocytosis or by viropexis. Enveloped viruses fuses <coughs> their membrane with cellular membranes to deliver the nucleic acid or genome directly into the cytoplasm. Next is the uncoating of viral capsid. Once the virus gets penetrated into the host cell, the nucleic acid reaches the site of replication. The capsid or envelope that carried the genetic material gets removed and it becomes uninfective. The genome of viruses, especially DNA viruses except the Pax viruses must be delivered to the nucleus, whereas most RNA viruses remains in the cytoplasm for replication. The un uncoating processes may be initiated by attachment to the receptor or promoted by the acidic environment or proteases found in an endosome or lysosome. Next is the macromolecular synthesis. Once the genetic material of virus reaches the target site, the genome must be directed to synthesize viral mRNA and protein and then generates the identical copies of virions. The transcription and translation of viral genetic material occurs in three phases. The first one is the immediate early phase where the immediate early proteins were produced which promotes the takeover of the host cell. In the second phase, early genes encode DNA binding 
proteins and enzymes including DNA dependent DNA polymerases. In the late phase, late genes encode structural and other proteins including the viral capsid and glycoproteins. For mRNA synthesizer, DNA viruses use the cell's DNA dependent RNA polymerase 2 and other enzymes to make mRNA. Replication of viral DNA follows the same biochemical rules as for cell DNA. Viral DNA resembles host DNA for transcription and replication. The transcri transcription process of viral genome is regulated by DNA binding proteins. The major limitations for replication of a DNA virus include availability of the DNA polymerase and deoxyribonucleotide substrates. For the mRNA synthesis of RNA viruses, it is a simple process because the viral genomes are usually either an mRNA or a template for mRNA in case of negative standard RNA. RNA viruses must encode the necessary enzymes for transcription and replication because the host cell has no means for replicating RNA viruses. All viruses depends on the host cell ribosomes, tRNA and mechanisms for post-translational post modification to produce their proteins. The post-translational modifications of viral proteins are carried out by phosphorylation, glycosylation, acylation or sulfation in the host cell genetic host cell cytoplasm. After the synthesis of essential viral components such as genetic material, viral capsid, viral envelope and other proteins, assembly of these synthesized particles takes place. During assembly for enveloped viruses, newly synthesized and processed viral glycoproteins that is enveloped are delivered to cellular membranes by vesicular transport. Acquisition of an envelope by capsid occurs after association of the nucleocapsid with the viral glycoprotein containing regions of host cell membranes in a process called budding. Viruses can be released from cells after lysis of the cell by exocytosis or by budding from the plasma membrane. Naked capsid viruses are generally released after lysis of the cell. Release of the most enveloped viruses occurs after budding from the plasma membrane without killing the cell. Lysis and plasma membrane budding are efficient means of release. The viruses can also be transmitted through cell-to-cell -cell bridges upon cell-to-cell -cell fusion or vertically to daughter cells. And that's all about the viral replication. Thank you for your patient listening. Share your beefs and thoughts in comment section. Please subscribe to my channel and share the videos. Thank you.